All right, guys, the first thing you need to do to tame an eel is, of course, to find one. And the easiest way to tame them, I believe, is with the basil of Bacillosaurus, or however you want to call them, which I'm on. They're immune to electricity. It's the easiest way to do it. So once you find these eels, what you want to do is you're going to passive tame them. So put some prime meat in your last slot like I just did. And what you need to do is you need to clear out the pack. Eels are usually in a pack of four or five. Sometimes I've seen them in three, but mostly fours and usually fives. So you want to kill all the ones you don't want to tame. It's really hard to get the one you want. Like if you're trying to aim for a big one, you've got to kind of swim around and try to get rid of the rest. I'm just going to tame whatever one's left here. There's one left. So I killed four. There's a fifth one left. So I'm not going to bite. And all I'm going to do is after he... You see, after he shocks the basil, then I got off and I swam up to him in passive tame. So there's a pause time between shocks. So as you can see, I hit him once. It's a level 50 and I got over halfway. So now there's an event going on and my taming effectiveness is pretty high right now on this server. But it still is pretty quick no matter what. And as you can see, I got a couple of anglerfish that came in here in the mix. So I don't really want to get off the basil and try to tame them while the anglers are there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to angle this away and try to snip at the uh, anglers and get rid of them. So let's see if I can do this. And I just got shocked again. I could tame them right now, but the stupid angler's on me. So let me just try to turn around here. And come on, just separate a little bit. Give me a little bit of breathing room. Look, the eel turned around a little so I can snip at the angler and hopefully the angler will leave. And there it goes. If you snip the angler a couple of times, it'll take off. So I'm going to let this thing shock me one more time and then I'm going to tame it after that should be ready to eat so as soon as that shock's over we're gonna get off and we're gonna feed it and we have an eel that's all you gotta do guys it's pretty simple hope this was helpful if you like the video please like and subscribe and i'll see you next time